Good morning, children. So let's start the next written chapter, chapter number seventeen. We need clean air. So this chapter is all about air. How do you know what? Uh, what is the composition of the air? Do you like? Uh, can you see the air? Yes or no? If we, are you able to feel the air? Okay. So this is all about the air. So let's start the chapter. To start with, draw any two things that gives out two things that give out the smoke. How do you think smoke affects us? So children, here first you have to draw two things that give out the smoke. When you burn them, it gives out the smoke. Right? When we look around us, we see things in. and through the air but we cannot see the air itself we cannot see or, or see it or taste it but it is everywhere children everywhere you can see can you see the air no because air is transparent you can see through the air right so air is transparent you cannot see the air but you cannot you can see through it okay it is present everywhere everywhere there is there you can feel the air when it moves and blows against your face as a breeze when you go out and the cool breeze comes and it you know it touches against your face you you feel the breeze what is breeze it's moving air okay so please underline what is atmosphere this is important a layer of air surrounds our earth it is called atmosphere a layer of air surrounds our earth which is called atmosphere the atmosphere is very important for life on the earth the atmosphere is very important for the life on the earth you know that so what is atmosphere it's the layer of air which surrounds the earth so later you will get to know that how air is important of course it has oxygen which we need it it also has a layer of air uh, layer of air it protect us you know it's it it always protects us from from uh you know to keep the temperature of the earth uh like it is it helps you to survive in this on this earth because this air which is around the earth it keeps the temperature normal for us otherwise what would have happened what is air air is called an insulator you know it doesn't allow the no the warmth of the earth um, uh, to go away out of the earth otherwise in night what happened when there is no sun it would have gone frozen cold and we would have died you no know? and when the sun is there it would have burnt everything when air was not there so what does air do it protects us and it keeps the temperature maintained okay so it is very very important this you will learn later that atmosphere is very important it is important for the life on the earth you know that for everything for the seed to grow for us to grow you know everything needs the proper temperature to grow and the temperature is maintained only because of the presence of the air and the presence of that layer of the earth is layer of the air on uh, on the earth is called atmosphere now air is a mixture air is a mixture of gases like very important children air is a mixture of gases like nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide it also contains water vapors and dust particles in the previous chapter we learned that water vapor is the gas that is formed when water is heated that's what we learned so what air is a mixture of different components so what are the different gaseous components 
it is the nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide these are the three gases very important children learn it air is a mixture of gases like nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide you need to learn the spelling nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide okay you have to learn the spelling so these are the three gases along with that it also contains water vapors okay and little dust particles also so water vapors and dust particles that we learn when you heat the water the water turns into water vapor water vapor is nothing but the gas it's in the gaseous form right here children you can see that uh, a boy is trying to blow uh, sorry a bo boy is uh, uh, using a torch to see the torch is shining and he is able to see the dust particle into the air in your home also uh, you know when uh, uh, during the day time when the sun is there uh, when you allow the sunlight to come inside the room from a very you know small uh, area like a small hole when the sunlight comes up through it or you open little window very little window and let the sunlight come through that and then you will be able to see lot of dust particle in that light no it just floats they remain floating inside and you will not believe that there are so many dust particles inside okay in the air so air contains dust particle okay try this put off all lights in your room at night switch on the torch that can also be done try this and let me know it happens or not put off all the lights in your room at night switch on a torch you will see dust particle floating in the air shining in the torch light this can be done can you do that so today what are you going to do you going to put off the light this can be done in the daytime also if you can see that in the daytime i told you you have to allow very little part of the light to come through your room and then in that part of the light you can see lots of dust particle if it is not possible for you if your room is really very 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 you know lot of sunlight comes through it then you too won't be able to see that then what you have to do is at night you can switch off all the lights and then only you can switch on the only you just switch on the torch and then in the so torch torch light you will see dust particles floating in the air and they shine know that they shine then you will learn later and i'll tell you what are those shiny particles which floats in the air that you will learn later okay so there is different uses of the air air is needed for burning these two activities we are going to see in the next period children okay